note. Uh, I recently saw a news story about a teacher um, at Elliott High Middle School in Washington, D.C., named Mandrell Burks. Now, he's teaching kids about communication and the power of media by showing them how to produce their own show. Take a look at this. As the countdown begins, Good. Every student is at the ready. Music ready? Yes. All right, good. And Elliott High Middle School's first TV show goes live. Madrell Burks has worked with these students for months, fine-tuning their writing, shooting, and interviewing skills. It's interesting, and you get to learn about technology and stuff. Burks, who also happens to be a Sirius XM radio host himself, says that he wants his students to know that they are capable of achieving anything they put their minds to. I am honored to be on the list of that the kids uh, of people the kids wanted to interview. Of course, President Obama is on that list. Now I can't help them out with the president necessarily, <laughs> but I am available. So I'm about to surprise Mr. Burke's class with a satellite interview. They think they're yeah, they think they're about to be interviewed by a local news station, um, WJLA, our, our affiliate, but it's not, it's me. So <laughs> Hello, Mr. Burks in class. It's Queen Latifah. Oh. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I heard that you uh, that your students wanted to interview me. So who's going to ask the questions? Well, let me introduce to you uh, <laughs> two students. Uh, first, uh, Miss Anna Robinson. And our second, she's a news reporter, and our second news reporter will be Mr. Javon uh, Johnson. Woo! Wonderful. Okay, well, you know, this, this is how the, the media is. You gotta be ready, but gotta be on your toes. So, what's your first question? Yeah, what motivates you? That's pretty good. What motivates me to uh, do what I do? Yes. Um, I'm motivated by all the goals and dreams that my partner, Shaq Kim, and I set out for ourselves. I'm motivated by watching these wonderful people in the audience, by sharing great information, entertainment. I, I love the exchange of energy between people and, and myself, and it, it's just always a great motivator. And knowing that I can make a difference in the lives of people not unlike yourself. So, is that enough motivation for you? <laughs> Second question. Um, what would you say is the key to your success? The key to my success, um, I think, would be having a great group of people around me. I think having my wonderful parents and family and friends and people who are willing to tell me the truth, who give me a pat on the back when I do a great job, who smack me on the hand when I do not so well, but always support and love me. <laughs> All right. Now, before I let you ask the next question, let me help you with your... With your in there you go. There's the smiles that the, I want to see out of the interview faces. You got to get your face right. You got to work on... Or at least get a little more Dan Rather. So queen. You got to pick which character you will be when you ask me these questions. Okay, your turn, Anna. Third question. What is your best influence? What is my best influence? Like the big, the person who's most influenced me? Yes. That's a good question. I've had a, <laughs> I've had a lot of influences. Um, I've had a lot of influences and a lot of motivators. Um, uh, the, the, the kids that didn't pick me to play on their team because I was a girl, that was a big motivation. I meant to include that in the last question. Um, it just made me fight that much harder. Uh, but I, I'd say my biggest influence is, has been my mom. She was my first teacher, the first person who I probably looked up and saw who smiled at me. She taught me everything. Um, and she allowed me to dream big and never hindered all the possibilities that were out there for me to go out and accomplish. She supported me. She even went to my rap shows. Uh, when, I, when I first started rapping, she was at all the concerts and everybody from De La Soul to Busta Rhymes, everybody knew who Miss O was. So having someone like her in my corner and um, her being a great example, uh, a great teacher, watching her in her classroom work with her students and really bring people 
you know, in into the, the true meaning of who they're supposed to be has been a great influence on me, something I want to share. All right, kids, how's that? Did I, did, did I do okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You can breathe now. This has been a lot of fun. I want you to keep up the awesome job. Listen to your teacher. He knows what he's talking about. Stay out of detention. Don't be like me. Be better than me. <laughs> <laughs> <That's not right>. <laughs> <laughs> <Mr>. Thank you. <laughs> oh. You know I'm a little silly. Mr. Burks, uh, are you a little bit shocked? I know you really had no idea yes, that this was about to happen. I would say a little. Yeah, I, I would say a little shocked, but um, I'm still covered with emotion right now, but I'll get over it. I'll get over it. Oh, if you want to fall down on the ground and cry and things like that, I won't, <laughs> I won't tell anybody. Okay. How many people... She's live on the show right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay.